Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is going to be a full face tutorial using this palette, the Melissa Michelle Ulta palette. I've been dying to get my hands on this palette. Uh, it took me forever to order it online and then when I finally went to order it online through Ulta, they were saying it, they're not selling it anymore. I was like, no, what? So I rushed to the nearest Ulta by me and they had three of them left. Three, I took one. So when I left, there was only one. And now that I've used this palette to create this look that I have going on, um, everything, the highlights, the blush, the lips, girl, I wish I would have taken two because the palette is amazing. Melissa, if you're watching, I hope you're watching. You did amazing. I am so happy for you. I'm so proud of you. I've been watching you for forever since the twins were like barely there. <laughs> anyway, um, yes, I love the palette. It's really good and I'm being super, super honest. I liked everything about it. Uh, so yeah, let's just jump right into this look. I can't wait to show you how I created this eye look. Actually, my full face, with the exception of the foundation, it's all Melissa. All right, so let's do what I've done on this eye over on this eye. I know I look a little crazy right now, but I promise it will all look good in the end. All right, so I'm going to start with the eyeshadow named Rosemary, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be using a Luxie 205 tapered blending brush for this application. And I'm just going to go right in. These eyeshadows are super pigmented, which I love. And I'm just going to place Rosemary into the crease. I'm going to be blending from outer corner into the inner corner. You know, small circular motions back and forth. I'm going to bring Rosemary a little bit high onto the crease. And I'm just going to blend that in. As you can see, this is only one time that I've dipped my brush into Rosemary. And can you see the pigment in here already? So they're really good shadows, which I'm happily surprised. I'm so happy for Melissa with this palette. I'm just so happy for her and so proud of her. I've been watching her for like forever. She was like one of the first YouTubers I started watching a few years ago. And I can't stop watching her love her the next eyeshadow I'm using is Bing Bing which is this one right here and I'm gonna be using a Luxie 229 tapered blending brush for this application and I'm gonna do the exact same thing it's gonna go in my crease but it's just gonna go a little bit lower than where I applied rosemary so I'm just gonna stay lower and can you see that pigment can you see that and these are the matte eyeshadows so this is a really, really good palette. Like, look at those shades. They're so pretty. So yeah, I'm gonna place Bing Bing into my crease. From outer to inner corner, the exact same thing I did with Rosemary, I'm doing with Bing Bing. For my brow bone highlight, I'm using Wheezy, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be using a Luxie 211 brush for this application. And I'm just going to place this on my brow bone for a highlight. Just a little bit. If you need to go back to the Rosemary eyeshadow or just the brush that you used Rosemary with, to blend the edges out over here then go right ahead and do that all right so that looks good so the next eyeshadow i'm using is alana and alana is all the way up here on the top corner and i'm going to be using a bh cosmetics flat shader brush for this application and i'm just going to go into alana these eyeshadows are super soft so i'm going to place alana on my entire lid i'm just pressing it in and softly dragging it not I'm not like going crazy with the brush I'm just you know packing it on I'm gonna bring it all the way up to my crease and then I'm gonna blend that out because you see how it looks a little crazy it's not gonna look like that 
But can you see this eyeshadow? How pretty it is and how pigmented it is. Like it covered my entire lid so fast. And I've only dipped the brush in that one, one time, that's it. So now I wanna blend Alana out and I'm taking a Morphe M412 brush and I'm just going to go into where Alana meets Bing Bing and I'm just going to start blending that out in very small circular motions because I don't wanna bring Alana all the way to the top. I just wanna keep her where she is, but I want to get rid of this harsh line. So as you can see, it's already blending out. These eyeshadows are really good. Like, very blendable and very pigmented. I'm totally loving this palette. She did a really good job. I'm looking for a mirror because I'm gonna go into Hardy right now and I'm using a Makeup Geek Over Outer V brush into Hardy and I'm gonna go on to my lower lash line and I'm gonna place this right on my lash line. I wanna deepen this. Like again, this is a matte eyeshadow and I just dipped it once and look at it. So pigmented and it blends out so well. All right, the next eyeshadow, actually I'm gonna go back to Alana here and here is a Makeup Geek pointed crease brush and now I'm going to place Alana right on top of um, Harley. And Harley is a brown matte eyeshadow. So I'm just going to place this right on top of Harley on my lower lash line. But I'm going to go down just a tiny little bit lower than I did Harley. And I'm going to connect it up here. Make sure they're connected on the end. There you go. We'll finish that later because I still have to do the rest of my face, you know, with concealer and all that stuff. But now we're going to move on. I'm going to go in with Kate's, which is this shade right here. It's gorgeous, you guys. And I'm going to go with my finger. I'm just going to touch a little bit right there. Can you see it? And now I'm going to put it like right smack in the center of my eye. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Beautiful. All right, I'm going to come up to my crease. Just dab it a little bit right there. Like, look, I still have eyeshadow on my finger. And I just touched it. Incredible. I gotta wipe this off before I get it all over my face. Um, I'm gonna grab the brush that I used for Alana. This is the BH Cosmetics Flat Shader Brush. And I'm just going to blend the edges in with Kate's. So I'm blending Alana and Kate's the edges so it can look like twins. Which they are twins. They're the cutest twins I've seen in a long time. Um, I'm going to do the top two just to make sure it looks nice and seamless right here. And all I'm doing is patting because I still have a little bit of Alana here. So I'm just patting it onto the corners of Kay's. Yeah, that looks great. All right, I'm gonna put Kate's on the bottom lash line as well. So I'm grabbing a Morphe M432 brush. I'm gonna go right into Kate's. And now I'm gonna place Kate's, let me grab the mirror, right in the center of my lower lash line. Right on top of Harley and Alana. it all right for my inner tear duct area i'm going to use lola which is right here beautiful shade as well and where's the brush i'm using a morphe m431 pencil brush to um place 
Lola in my inner tear ducts for a highlight. That's it, you guys. Look at all that pigment. Look at how pretty this is. So that's all for the eyes. I'm loving this look. I'm not done yet. I'm going to be applying some um, eyeliner and mascara. But first, I'm going to wipe this up for whatever fallout that just happened. And I'm going to apply the eyeliner mascara and I will be right back. I'm going to continue with my face. I love this palette, you guys. I really do. All right. By the way, the shade I'm using right now is the shade 228, which is Soft Tan, and it's the Maybelline Fit Me Matte Poreless Foundation. I love this foundation. It's so good. And the sponge I'm using is the L'Oreal sponge, I believe. I just can't remember the name. For concealer, I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape, and this one is in the shade Medium. So I'm going to put a tiny little bit right here and right here. And then I'm just going to blend that out. I like to blend with my finger, so I'm just going to tap it with my finger. And then I'm going to go in with this sponge. bronzer I'm using the NYC bronzer in sunny it took forever I know the name of this bronzer like hello look at this I love this bronzer I don't know why I got stuck there all right and here I'm using a BH Cosmetics 108 brush and I'm just going to pounce this on the top of my forehead the side of my temple go through the lower portion of my cheekbone around the ear and onto the jawline and I'm gonna be doing the same thing on the other side so I want to touch up on my lower lash line so I'm gonna go back into Alana and the brush that I was using which is a makeup geek pointed crease brush and I just want to add a little bit of Alana back in there in case I lost any and I'm also gonna add Kate's in the center like I did a little while ago just because I want it to be more smoky or more blown out that's why I'm going back in with these shades I mean you could have totally waited until the end after the concealer to do your lower lash line but listen I was so excited to use these eyeshadows that I just couldn't wait so I'm just touching them up anyway I didn't lose them either. It's not like I lost a lot of it. But since I put the um, concealer on, I wanted to bring it down just a little bit more. All right, now I'm going to go into Kate's, and this is the Morphe M432 brush. And I'm going to apply Kate's right in the center. And now I want to buff everything out under my lower lash line. So I'm using this crease brush, which is by Royal and Langnickel. This is from the Moda Pro line. I'm going to go into Rosemary and I'm just going to pick up a little bit on the tip of this brush. And now I'm going to just start buffing everything out right under my lower lash line. This is just to tie my lower lash line to my crease and the eyeshadows that I have going up on my lid. Now I'm gonna go back into Lola and just touch up my inner tear duct area. So 
I'm done with the eyes. If you want to go in and add eyeliner, um, you can go right ahead. I'm not. I'm going to skip the eyeliner. I don't always wear eyeliner. I like not wearing eyeliner. Every once in a while, I do wear eyeliner. And when I say that, I'm talking. I'm not talking about the eyeliner on, um, you know, not the wing. I'm talking about my um, waterline eyeliner. So I'm just going to leave it as is. I think it looks good. But if you want to go even smokier, then you can go right ahead and either use a black eyeliner or a dark brown eyeliner. All right, I'm gonna jump into the blush and here is Mahal and I'm using a Moda Pro, which is the Royal and Lang Nickel brush and this is the pointed blush brush. And I'm just going, ooh, look at that. See that? Just tapped it. Okay, let's see. Oh, yes. So pretty, I love it. All right, let me finish. Wow, this is a beautiful blush. I love it. It's like the perfect shade. Mm. All right, let's do the other cheek. When I do my blush, I like to start back here. I don't really like to put my blush in um, the apples of my cheeks. I don't know, I just don't like the way it looks on me. So I do like to start back here and then I just blend it out and I go up into the hairline. Oh, I love the blush. I, I'm loving everything. Everything. So pretty. You know what I do sometimes with the blush? I even bring it up here and here. Put it everywhere. Why not? <laughs> Such a pretty blush anyway. Ooh, I can't stop. All right, let's move on. So the highlight of this palette is right here and it's called Holler. And it has three stripes of highlights so it has a peachy one over here a golden one over here and kind of a bronzy one over here so i'm going to be using a luxe 640 pro precision tapered brush and i'm just going to go into all three of them and i'm going to apply this on my cheekbones and on the side of my temple because i love it I love putting it there. Um, look how pretty that is. So all three of them. I'm gonna put a little bit on my nose, the bridge of my nose, and a little bit on the tip of my nose, on my cupid's bow. I like the highlight as well I had seen a review and the girl just kept adding and adding and adding and adding highlight and she kept saying that it wasn't coming up on her if I see it on me like can you see that I can see it and I don't feel like I need any more but let's go cray cray and add some more yeah let me stop because then I'm gonna regret it all right, I say let me stop and I continue. All right, there we go. Ooh, that looks so pretty, I love it. All right, time for the lips. The lips is this matte liquid lipstick and it's called Scandi. It's yet another word that she uses a lot. Holler, she uses a lot, and Scandi. It's so cute, I think it's so funny though. Uh, yeah, so this is a liquid lipstick. It's such a cute packaging. I thought it was bigger, but it's pretty small. Um, but yeah, it has a um, rose gold cap and, you know, the tube is just clear. It's really cute. Let's try this on. Ooh, the shade looks pretty. Pretty. All right, let's go in. Oh, I love the way it smells. It smells like um, the NYX lipstick. And this is not NYX, this is Ulta. 
it's super soft and it feels kind of watery but it's applying and I can see the um, shade it's pretty opaque I love the color too So yeah, you guys, this is the final look. I use everything on this palette. I am loving everything about this palette. All the eyeshadows, every single one of them. All the matte eyeshadows are so good. They're so pigmented and they're so blendable. The metallic ones are amazing. They're super pigmented, they're soft, they're creamy, they're blendable. Uh, oh my God, Melissa, you went all out on this cute palette i love it the blush gorgeous i think i'm gonna be using this blush like the whole fall season and even winter i love it actually this blush can be worn any time of the year it's like perfect what else the highlight the highlight is really good and it is pigmented i don't know why i saw a few reviews that people were saying that it wasn't i like it I like the pigment that it has and if it's not crazy like highlighty for you then just add a little bit more highlighting is that even a word anyway just add a little bit more and the lips I love it as well um, it's a little sticky but the color is really pretty and I don't know it's, it's not that bad I'm not crazy crazy about sticky um, matte lipsticks but you know it's not that bad so I like it um yeah so that's it you guys thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already follow my other social media and watch my previous videos until next time my loves Mwah. hugs and kisses